I'm Fraser Keir, Birkbeck's Academic Registrar, and I'm really delighted to welcome you to Birkbeck's virtual graduation and to take this opportunity to congratulate you on reaching this milestone in your studies. We know it's been an incredibly difficult year for most of you because of the global pandemic. I'm really pleased that you've made it here today to celebrate and to mark your fantastic achievements alongside family, friends, and of course, your fellow students. We know that today will be different to our usual in-person graduation ceremonies, but we have worked hard to ensure that it mirrors the spirit of them. And we hope you'll feel it does. We'll also be hosting in-person celebratory events for you so that you can meet your classmates and lecturers once it is safe to do so. And we'll let you know more about these at a later date. Before we start today's event, we have some housekeeping information for you. Please keep your microphone muted until the round of applause after each group's names are announced. We hope you will take part in giving a big round of applause to celebrate our graduate successes at that point. Now you should be able to change the screen on the device you're watching on today. If you can, we suggest putting your screen in presenter view to view all the videos and live content in full screen. You can select gallery view if you want to see everyone in your virtual room, but this will make the videos appear smaller and if you're watching on an iPad or iPhone, you may need to scroll to another screen to see everyone in your group. I would like to remind you that um, today's event has been recorded, it is currently being live streamed on YouTube and the recording will also be made available after the event. We'll start today's event with some messages before moving on to the awards. Thank you very much for taking part and um, I hope you will enjoy it. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation ceremony in which above all, we celebrate the achievements of you, our graduates. Those are the words with which I begin my address when we hold in-person ceremonies in the Senate House of the University of London. But I think they are even more so true today under these very special and difficult circumstances. Normally, the Birkbeck student has to juggle their working life with their family life and with their studies. But you, the graduating class of 2021, have had to do so much more. Maybe there were issues around childcare or homeschooling, perhaps unfortunate health issues, or simply the fact that the Wi-Fi didn't work very well when you were trying to join in a lecture or a tutorial. But you have overcome all those obstacles and you have achieved your aims. And that is a very, very special achievement. And that is why I've chosen to speak at each of the graduation ceremonies rather than um, pre-recording my remarks to try and congratulate you as personally as I possibly can. I also want to say thank you to the relatives and friends and partners of our graduates watching on YouTube who have spent a lot of time, I'm sure, supporting their graduates. Maybe you had to deal with childcare issues so that they could work, or maybe your graduate seized the kitchen table and the laptop in order to do their work and you were unable to do what you wanted to do for that period. But uh, so we say thank you to you. But we also say to you, Birkbeck is for everyone. You too can come back and study at Birkbeck. Seize back the laptop and the kitchen table. Come and study hopefully with us in person. And indeed, I hope to be able to congratulate you in person um, in a couple of years time on also on your achievements. So do think about that. Equally, we should all say thank you to the staff of Birkbeck and their enormous dedication to their work. They managed to put us online teaching at very short notice just over a year ago. Many of them spent the summer training in how to do online teaching better to make sure that we offered the very best service that we possibly could for the 2021 academic year. And while we're thanking staff, because this is the last of our seven graduation ceremonies this week, I want to pay a special thanks to all those involved in organizing these graduations, led by Jessica Jesko, who's done a sterling work in making sure that we've coped with all the issues, including the fact that some of you only decided that you wanted to come and graduate about half an hour before the graduation ceremony. 
And equally thanks to Steve from our audiovisual partners who has ensured that the live addresses such as mine are seamlessly interdigitated with some of the pre-recorded items. So thank you to all of you. And of course, as we offer this excellent Birkbeck service in teaching, we are seeing huge surges in applications to Birkbeck. 2021 was an, a record year for applications and enrollments, and we're seeing even greater applications this year for 21-22. And I think that is a clear reflection of the situation, that people are thinking about the need for retraining or reskilling or upskilling, changing their skills so that they can take on a particular different position or perhaps so that they can change careers altogether. And we need our graduates to explain to us how Birkbeck has helped you to speak to those you know and tell them about the importance of Birkbeck. We have a government now which does, for the first time, appreciate the importance of lifelong learning. It's pledged to introduce a lifelong learning allowance from 2025. But we need government to act quicker. In the post-Brexit era, the po hopefully the post-pandemic era, there is an increasing need for this sort of flexible study and we need further support for it now. Support perhaps for short courses for which you can't get loans currently. Support for the abolition of the pernicious rule whereby if you have one degree, you cannot take another first degree in a different subject, you can't get a loan for that. So we need to help you to help us to lobby. We also want you to remain associated with us. Join the Alumni Society, which has over 60,000 alumni worldwide from 140 countries. So do remain associated with us. We have a scheme now where you can submit your stories to our Birkbeck, explaining why you benefited from study at Birkbeck, what you're doing now in your job, in your community, um, and so on. So please do participate in that, because as we approach the 200th anniversary of Birkbeck in 2023, we want to know everything we can about the way that we have influenced your lives and the contribution that our graduates have gone on to make. Very few institutions reach their 200th anniversary. Still fewer do it recognize, doing something that the founders would recognize. If George Birkbeck made it through all the online security procedures and managed to log on to this graduation ceremony, he might not understand about master's degrees, he might not understand about loans and so on. He certainly wouldn't understand the science that many of you have been doing during your courses. But he would understand that we are still doing what he founded Birkbeck for, helping working people to fulfill their lives, to gain additional qualifications, to get better positions and so on. A few years ago, I went to a meeting of a few business leaders and I was introduced as the head of Birkbeck and somebody said, one of them, ah, Birkbeck, when I see that on a CV, I put it to the top of my pile because your students have the commitment that I want in my business. That is true of all Birkbeck students, but how much more is it true of you, the graduating class of 2021? When people look back on this very difficult period and at Birkbeck's part in it, they will say, that was a special class. They overcame enormous difficulties in order to graduate, in order to successfully achieve their aims. On behalf of myself and the entire Birkbeck community, I congratulate you and salute your achievements. Thank you. Hello everyone, congratulations. It's a great day for you all. Um, also for the Burbeck community and also for the people that have supported you, your family, your friends, your support networks. And um, you've got a just reward um, and well done everyone. We're really proud of you, so congratulations. Well, hello everyone, congratulations on achieving a degree in a difficult manner at a difficult time. Birkbeck students always have, have uh, a hard way of achieving a degree. And congratulations to those of you who are going on to do something uh, more in their uh, geoscience and planetary careers. There are several people going on to do PhDs and, and MSCs, so good luck to all of you in your uh, future career. It's been great having you in the department. You have given something to the department. Uh, you've added to the life of the department. We won't uh, completely lose track of you, I hope, because I hope that most of you will uh, contact me about the Birkbeck Geology and Planetary Alumni 
So you email me saying, I want to be part of that, and I will put you on the list. Well, I'll go next if no one else is. Um, well, yeah, congratulations, everyone. Um, I really wish we were having a live graduation. I've, I've been to many graduation ceremonies over the years. It was always great fun. It's always great fun seeing the families, actually, <clears throat> and hearing the backstory of, you know, the struggles that you've gone through to study with us. It's, it's always very inspiring to hear from the families. Also, it's not over. I mean, yeah, join the Alumni Society that Hilary has just mentioned, but you're just really welcome in the department. Come back anytime you like, knock on our doors. Um, you can buy us a cup of tea if you want, and we'll go down to the refectory and have that. A bit of cake would be good as well. Um, yeah, congratulations and hope to see you all again. Don't disappear, you know, keep in contact. Okay, thanks. Round of applause for everyone. Yay. As head of department, and on behalf of the Department of Biological Sciences, we want to congratulate all of our graduating students. We're sorry we can't be together in person, but well done on everything you've achieved. Thank you for everything you've contributed and all the best for what you decide to do next. Well, a big hello and big congratulations, especially to all the BSc Biomedicine graduates. As ever, we're sad to have seen you go, but we enjoyed your company while it lasted and we're proud of your accomplishments. You worked hard, you never gave up, and you got the job done. So we hope you get a chance to celebrate, but of course, while you're celebrating and enjoying your, the fruits of your graduateness, don't forget to thank all of the significant others in your life who helped you through along the way. They were important to your success as well. Give them a good, a good hug or whatever it takes. So meanwhile, keep in touch, Get back and uh, never hesitate to um, call in on us, ask for support as you move ahead in the real world. We're happy to keep, keep looking after you and help you out along the way. And I guess I got something here. I'll probably have to fill it up now. Well done. Well done, you all, um, both our home and international students. I enjoyed so very much having many of you either in my class and uh, or in my lab uh, this year. Go ahead with your career, keep achieving your best. And here I will be playing a 10 seconds piece, especially um, to celebrate your success today. I want to congratulate all of our PhD awardees for this very special achievement and to wish them the best for their future. As graduate tutor, I've had the opportunity and privilege over the last four years to meet and get to know you, and I'm very proud of what you've accomplished. Well done. Hello. I'm Professor Matthew Longo, the Director of Taught Postgraduate Studies here in the Department of Psychological Sciences at Birkbeck. Today, it is my privilege and my pleasure to congratulate you on your graduation. None of you need me to tell you that the past year has been unusual and difficult. Many of you, many of us, have faced major challenges to our health and the health of our loved ones, to our livelihoods, to our social interactions with family and friends, and really to our basic way of life. Certainly, the pandemic has brought about dramatic changes in the way you have been able to study here at Birkbeck. It is therefore with pride and admiration that I offer my warmest congratulations on this day. I know that I speak on behalf of the entire Department of Psychological Sciences, and indeed the whole Birkbeck community, in saying that we are proud of the dedication, determination, and resilience that you have shown in completing your studies in the face of this extraordinary situation and all the changes and challenges it has brought. We are confident that you will go on to do great things in your future career, in your future life, and we hope that your time here at Birkbeck has been rewarding and enjoyable and that it has equipped you to succeed in your future endeavors and to contribute to your community and to society. Congratulations.
Vice-Chancellor, President and Distinguished Guests, I present the following graduates from the School of Science. The Certificate of Higher Education in Life Sciences for Subjects Allied to Medicine, Caroline Asalia, Faduma Oweyi, Faria Arnux, Jessica Ballantine, Tanya Bota, Mona Izati, Hannah Hussein, Amadin Igiabor, Ali Jaba, Lorraine Job, Nassim Kazame Gavimi, Samuel Kibuli, Kia Costa Brown, Victoria Lavranova, Iona Lim, Pui Se Lun, Jacqueline Lupaka, and Nosikilio Tekaza. With the Certificate of Higher Education in Geology, Leanne Baumgarten and Helen Day. Please unmute yourselves and give your fellow graduates a large round of applause. <laughs> For the Certificate of Higher edu Education in Mathematical Studies, Andre Verut, Jean Waweru, and Louise Whitmore. For the Certificate of Higher Education in Physics and Mathematics, Ava Moore. For the MSc in Analytical Biosense, Dana Aldrini, Daniel Asenius Ite, and Tina Wright. For the MSc in Analytical Chemistry, John Buckingham, Alvin Denu, Anne Sophie Essie, Mahima Gurung, Daisy Hall, Amjad Khan, Gilles Kerpel, and Kira Celeste McCaffrey. Please unmute yourselves and give yourselves and your fellow graduates a big round of applause. <laughs> For the MSc in Bio Business, Belinda Carlson, Felicity Carr, Tayana Duruk Stores, Minkyong Kim, Kushil Patel, and Zardish Sali. For the MSc in Bioinformatics with Systems Biology, Rachel Clark, Azamina Estratiu, Sarah Hussein, Chu Ming Lei, Rutendo Mapeta, Michelle Nayoma Yaba, Laura Phillips, Sachin Pandoria, and Ruchira Sakdeva. For the MRES in Global Infectious Diseases, Karina Kitano Souza, Raza Dabkut, Parmis Ikra, and Tara Levano Osores. Please unmute yourselves and give you yourself and your fellow graduates a big round of applause. <laughs> For the MSc in Microbiology, Dina Alnajar, Clara Assis, Sinead Carroll, and Liam Fletcher. For the MSc in Structural Molecular Biology, Darren Baker, Magdalena Podja, Benusha Rajanthira, Torsten Schmidt, and Stamatina Siavelli. For the Certificate of Higher Education in Psychology, Susan Brown, Anna Opala, Nancy Osor, Robert Scarf, 
Alina Shawcross, Oluia Trembeka, Sabine Quast. And for the postgraduate diploma in psychology, Agata Kuwero, Kurumi Saad, and Magdalena Volsek. Please unmute yourself and give yourself and your fellow graduates a big round of applause. For the MSc in Psychology, Charlotte Anning, Sinead Archer, Arjun Bodwaj Shah, Leela Bunoa, Mark Bohini, Mary Bronx, Elena Kane, Zoe Clarkson, Elsa Colonna Disteria, Francesca Demis, Calliope Dikeu, Anna Debretstova, Hannah Drysdale, Thomas Dupre, Charlotte Early, Amber Evans, Jose Alberto Fernandez, Sophie Field, Christina Fisher, Francesca Francoli, Anna Gazillo, Christopher Hall, Sadie Hambleton, Michal Robert Hoffman, Sophia Hoog. Please unmute yourself and give yourself and your fellow graduates a big round of applause. And further graduates of the MSc in Psychology, Ryan Jeffries, Agnesa Capnera, Fatima Casamali, Isabella Anacornis, Nicolette Langer, Tilat Mahudin, Jenny Marcola, Andrew McCabe, Marianne McGowan, Sweta Narayanan, Jessica Nicholson, Sashiko Nishimura, Lauren Pett, Benjamin Phillips Farmer, Sophie Kefalik, Dominic Ridley, Maria Rodriguez Perez, Lars Roust, Sana Shah, Jenna Steventon. Please unmute yourself and give yourself and your fellow graduates a big round of applause. <laughs> and further graduates of the MSc in Psychology. Brigitte Sabo, Clara Tate, Isra Talal, Barada Krishnamurthy, Elizabeth Ville, Frederick from Lane, Sarah Walton, Lewis Wesley, Monica Yavas, and Andreas Yellowus. For the MSc in Cognition and Computation, Mark Ben Sillam, Henry Hunter, Sarah Matalo Callas Ferreria, Elena Spens, and Ulrich Stoof. For the MSc in Developmental Sciences, Robin Baldwin, Darina Cocky, Fatima Offle, Avisha Shah, and Yikun Wang. Please unmute yourselves and give yourself and your fellow graduates a big round of applause. For the MSc in Cognitive Neuroscience and Neuropsychology, Armani Ahmed, Egan Badalova, Nicholas Baker, Rumesa Betekin, Suzanne Brossois, Kai Yai Chu, 
Leonora Soka, Disilava Dimitrova, Antonio Fasano, Amina Ganemi, Johannes Gontas, Elio Crusader, Ludovica Lipsi, Alar Mafuz, Zara Masawi, Elizabeth Malumba, Francesca Penza, Teresa Triandessa Chiaman, Zi Wang, and Anna Yousaf. Please unmute yourselves and give yourself and your fellow graduates a big round of applause. <laughs> For the MSc in Educational Neuroscience, Jessica Borquez Ortiz, Delia Siobotaru, Claudia Chivini, Yan Lee, Ruth Martin, Camilla Mendizabal, Michelle Miyakuchin Keen, and Estefania Rubio Ruiz. For the MSc in Health and Clinical Psychological Sciences, Eleanor Dawson, Raman Deep Dehal, Athanasia Farshopoulou, Jesso Gallia, Yusav Labib, Alexander McMillan, Tritseju Nibarago, Damilola Aluwola, and Sarah Said. The MSc in Psychological Research Methods. Rita Komaruts, the MRes in Psychology, Francesca Seri. I now present the following graduates who have been awarded a doctorate for PhD in Developmental Cognitive Neuroscience, for thesis titled Early Development of Sensory Perception in Autism Spectrum Disorders and Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, Dr. Elena Picardi. And for PhD in Psychology, with a thesis titled Explanation and Argument, Dr. Marco Cechic. Please unmute yourselves and give yourselves and your fellow graduates a big round of applause. And I present the following graduates for an MSc in Microbiology, Valsa Goklossi, for an MSc in Educational Neuroscience, Angela Wright, and for an MSc in Developmental Sciences, Dennis Bostan. I now present a further candidate for a doctorate for PhD in psychology titled, Navigating the Tensions of Undergraduate Life, an Existential Phenomenological Analysis of Personal Growth and the Role of Coaching at a UK University, Dr. Natalie Phillips. Please unmute yourselves and give yourself a big round of applause. It's the presentation of graduates from the School of Science. I now hand you over to, to my colleagues. Thank you very much. And a President, Vice Chancellor, graduates and graduates, guests and colleagues. In these times of COVID-19, when social distancing has forced us to move the most significant date in the academic calendar, graduation, online, it is perhaps worth reflecting on some of the other crises that the college has faced during its long history of nearly 
200 years. As you already know, Birkbeck was established as the London Mechanics Institution in 1823. It's impossible, I think, to exaggerate just how revolutionary the initiative was. At that time, one third of all men and one half of all women were unable to read or write. But more importantly, British elites were passionately hostile to educating working people. After all, the country was in political turmoil and it was feared that educating the lower orders would destroy society. In particular, there was moral anxiety. 1825, Minister E. W. Grinfield fumed about the risks of educating working men. He argued that it would be far better that the common people of this country should remain totally illiterate than they should be thus furnished with tools by which they would inevitably work out their own and the public ruin. Educating women was also risky. The London Mechanics Institution was unique because as early as 1830, it allowed women to attend classes. This means that Birkbeck provided higher education for women long before other institutions in the UK. After all, women's colleges such as Queen's College in Harley Street was not founded until 1848 and Bedford College the following year. Now, admittedly, the Institutions Committee continued for at least three decades to debate the propriety of admitting females attending lectures through the front entrance. Nevertheless, allowing women to attend classes was extremely progressive. And that was what was considered dangerous. As one critic complained, might in this lead to social intercourse with the other sex, which cannot be beneficial to morality. So from its foundation, the London Mechanics Institution, Birkbeck, was unique. Crucially, the leaders of the college from 1823 to the present shared one central belief. Birkbeck is about its people their thoughts and ambitions, hopes and dreams, labors and laughter, hubris and failures. In sum, as we near the bicentenary of our founding, this is the time to celebrate the capacity of a Birkbeck education to help us become fully human and self-fulfilled by learning to use all our faculties knowledge, imagination, sympathy. Perhaps it is time to resurrect what used to be Birkbeck's anthem. Vita Cabdima was composed in 1913 and is largely forgotten today. But at the centenary of the college in 1923, it was sung vigorously. The chorus went like this. At the hub of all the world, London surging round us, keep we Birkbeck's flag unfurled. Nothing shall confound us. I can think of no better chorus for us today in the midst of epidemic. Today, like those times, we will not only survive, but flourish. You are now our alumni and we are incredibly proud of you. Hello everyone. It's a great pleasure to reach out to you like this on such an important occasion, your graduation. My very best congratulations to all of you on this very special day. Congratulations of having stuck it out, having completed your course and earned your degree. Well done to each one of you. Now the pandemic, of course, is dominating our lives and continues to do so and probably will do for some time to come yet. But not all of it has been doom and gloom. 
I found time to read and I rather enjoyed reading poetry. There's a poem by Robert Frost you probably know and I've read it again. It's called The Road Not Taken and it begins, two roads diverged in a yellow wood and it goes on to tell how he couldn't decide which of two beautiful roads to take. And he regretted that he could only choose one of them. It ends, two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Well, I think that thought seems particularly appropriate at the moment and in many ways, and for you too. The country has to decide which way to go about lockdown, about vaccines, about opening shops and restaurants, about letting us have holidays. And each of us now faces choices of our own, diverging roads in our lives. You are now facing such choices with the added excitement of having achieved something momentous in your life, your Birkbeck degree. The times could not be more auspicious for making such choices. That's your good fortune. Do you continue to work from home? Do you change jobs? Do you move to the country away from city life as many are now trying to do? Apparently inquiries for buying homes in Cornwall has never been this high. Or do you attend to the more practical, important things of life? Do you consider what your future life will be like? What scope does your new qualification give you to make many of these choices? Might you change track? Take up further study? I know you could even become an artist. My programme, Portrait Artist of the Week, which ran on Sky Television right through the lockdown, had some 2,000 artists who came online to take part, a little like Grayson Perry, but perhaps a little bit more serious. Um, and they were artists who worked at home all the time. That was their way of earning a living. They didn't earn very much. They worked in a shed and they were totally happy with what they're doing. So other lives do cast an idea for us on what might be possible. Now, I'm not suggesting rush off and become artists, but what I'm saying is life has many different roads to take. Will you plan how you could live on less money? Will the employment you have be shifting and with it your own options? There's never been a time more dense with options, with divergence in the road. And you are now faced with them to an extraordinary degree. There's something appropriate about that word degree. So now, the whole crisis may, of course, have thrown you into despair. I myself had a couple of really heavy bouts of depression, prompted by the thought that this pandemic had stolen a year of my life. Well, depressions do pass if you're fortunate. And I'm now resuming the life I thought I knew, only to find that many things have already changed without my knowing it. The traffic routes through London, for example, are all different to what I knew before. So, the way, so are the ways that people shop and the ways people eat. And that will be true of your life too. Whatever the future holds, this is the time for you to have a say in it. Not just choosing for your personal life which route to take, but in your life as a citizen too. The future of education it will be changing and the way Birkbeck works will probably change with it. I think the way Birkbeck works will become more popular and more suitable for many people's ways of life. So spread the message, won't you? Tell them how you've enjoyed studying and what success you've had. Tell people around you about Birkbeck and how it tries to accommodate people's working lives so it can add value to them. Knowledge makes life richer and yours has now become richer too. Congratulations, everyone.
Welcome to the Birkbeck Alumni Community. You might be in the UK or much further afield. It might be morning, afternoon or evening. Wherever you are right now, we as fellow members of the Birkbeck Alumni Community want to send our congratulations to you for what you've achieved. Completing a course at Birkbeck in normal circumstances is by no means an easy endeavour. So what you have accomplished is really something truly special. Today you are graduating and you should take a moment to reflect what a huge accomplishment this is. Completing your studies does not mean the end of your Birkbeck journey. You are joining a community of over 60,000 alumni in over 140 different countries. So no matter where you are in the world, you won't be far from a fellow Birkbeck graduate. There are lots of exciting events, activities and opportunities for you to stay connected with Birkbeck. Visit bbk.ac.uk forward slash alumni to find out more and update your contact details. We are proud to share this day with you. Have a wonderful time celebrating. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.